Great morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Christy. Welcome to yoga, tai chi, and pilates all in a nice combination with one another. Today is going to be another, my last live feed for the YMCA. So if the queuing is a little bit different, it's because of that. So just get your mats and come on and do some yoga, tai chi, and pilates with me. We're going to have some fun. Welcome to Yoga, Tai Chi, and Pilates. Hi, my name's Christy, and I am with the Golden Triangle YMCA of Tavares, and today we are going to combine one of my three favorite disciplines, Yoga, Tai Chi, Pilates. Uh, they're beautifully intertwined in this next 30 minutes, 30 minute workout. And all you need is a mat, a little bit of space, so move your sofa around, move your chair around, and a mat if you have it, but if you don't have a mat, that's okay. So we're gonna get a little zen here and get started. I'm gonna cue the music. So I love these three disciplines because they really stress the importance of the breath work. Inhale, exhale, breath in, and breath out. So we're gonna start off with a little Tai Chi, okay? And exhale, inhale. Tai Chi's beautiful because it really helps with balance work. So we're gonna just start by shifting our weight side to side. And what I want you to think of is pushing a fluffy cloud. So push a fluffy cloud to one direction and push the fluffy cloud in the other, side to side. You're doing beautiful. Weight shifting helps with balance, helps with core strength, and it helps with muscular strength too. So shifting side to side. So just notice how each side differs, which side might be a little stronger. Just notice. Now we're going to weight shift front to back. So I want you to take this leg and I want you to push and pull. Now I want you to use the breath here, okay? Exhale, inhale. So in Tai Chi, when you're pushing your arms away from you, you're gonna be exhaling. And when you pull your arms in, I want you to inhale. Now we're gonna to go to another move, it's called parting the clouds. Push away, exhale, and inhale. Weight shifting front to back. So just a little different from that side to side motion. One more. Good. Bring it down, shake it out, take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, breath in, breath out, and again, inhale, and exhale, good. Now let's take this other leg and we're gonna push pull too. Here, exhale and inhale. So weight shifting on that opposite leg. A little push, a little pull. Tai Chi is really helpful to manage stress and anxiety. So if you know of somebody that suffers from being anxious, Tai Chi really, really helps with that. So it's super slow compared to other workouts, but the benefits are huge. Okay, so now we're gonna part clouds on this side. Breath out, inhale. Exhale, make it audible. Exhale, push and pull. Couple more. And one more. And release down. Circle the shoulders back. Soften in the knees. So this next move, I want you to rub your hands together. We'll do a little open close here and really focusing on the breath. I want you to feel the energy 
between your hands and we are energy okay inhale exhale everything has energy breath in breath out breath in and breath out all right this next move is called heaven and earth okay so we're going to take a deep breath in and we're gonna exhale, and I want you to gently fold forward, bend your knees, scoop up from the earth, inhale. Palms face each other, exhale. Let's do that again. Breath in, breath out. Breath in, and breath out. One more time. Inhale, dive forward, exhale, inhale, and exhale, good, and release down. All right, so we're going to practice a little balance here and heating up the legs. So Tai Chi looks easy, but this move may be a little challenging, so make sure you have a a wall nearby or a sofa or something to hang on to because we are going to be practicing some balance here. Softening in this leg here, I want you to bring one heel forward and the toes come back. I want you to sweep all the way through. Heel forward, arms up and toes back. All right, I'm going to turn sideways so you can kind of see it, okay? So we're practicing that balance, right? Pick up. Set the heel down. So building heat in that leg that's supporting us, right? Heel, toe, heel, getting range of motion in the hip, building heat in this leg. Two more. One more. And release down so we're going to do that same thing on the other side softening in this knee heel forward and toes back heel toe heel toe super zen music in the background I hope you can hear it it's lovely Heating up the leg that's supporting you, keeping that knee nice and soft. So in addition to balance work and breath work, Tai Chi uses your brain. So if you've ever heard of neuroplasticity, it actually helps create new pathways in your brain to think it keeps us young, all right? so. Yay for Tai Chi for doing that. So let's practice a little bit of that, all right? So I want you to soften in your knees. I want you to punch left and touch right and come back. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg, right? Sometimes it gets a little confusing and you have to practice this. And then when you get into Tai Chi and you learn specific movements and then memorize them and link them together, really takes a lot of concentration, a lot of commitment, and some effort each day. Not a lot of time, but every day about 15 or 20 minutes. All right, now we're going to weight shift, okay? So now I want you to step and give me a little lunge, and how about a fist bump, all right? Step lunge, nice fist bump, good. Step lunge, good. Step lunge, doing amazing. Good, a couple more. All right, going right back into that balance work, okay? So here we go. I want you to step, and can you give me a little lift, and can you hold it? Use the core, lifting from the powerhouse. The Dantian is what we call it in Tai Chi. And down, and let's do the other side. Hold it, 
Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, right? And other side, do it one more time each side. Good. Now sweep side to side. Let's go back to pushing those clouds and this time we're going to make it just a little bigger and I want you to go just a little higher with that weight shift. Push up into the heavens, lengthening through the core and I want you to keep your shoulders right over your hips. Couple more and release down. Good. Roll the shoulders down and back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. So now we're going to move into a little bit of yoga. Okay, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out, using that big belly breath, right? Inhale, expand, exhale, contract. So now we're going to go into mountain pose. So just rock your feet front to back. Right, pick your toes up, pick your heels up. Just practice that. That's practicing your balance work here. Going front to back. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, relax the shoulders. Now we're gonna, our first pose we're gonna do is called chair pose. And chair pose really builds strength in the core and strength in our lower extremities, our legs. Take your arms up. And when you do this, I want you to spin those pinky fingers in towards the midline of your body. Open your heart center and sit down. And just feel your body heat up. Feel your body work. Can you go a little lower for me? Just heating that body up. Now push up. Bring your hands in prayer. Squeeze your glutes. Hips come forward ever so slightly, just a little bit of a modified back bend, and then bring your hands heart center. All right, inhale. Now let's do a little forward fold here. Exhale, dive forward, bending your knees. Now relax your head and neck, lengthen through the back of your legs. Look at your knees. Now drop your hips, belly on thigh, deep breath. Inhale, up and exhale, hands come heart center. Good, let's put a couple of those together. Inhale, spin those pinkies in. Exhale, sink back into that beautiful chair. Open the heart, sink deep. Now, push up, and we're gonna dive forward. Exhale, dive. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold. Drop hips, belly on thigh. Inhale up. Exhale, hands come heart center. All right, so now let's do a little bit of a spinal twist and some balance work, okay? Breath in and sink back into that chair. Breath out. Can you bring your hands in prayer? Now I want you to look over that shoulder, that left shoulder, bring that right elbow down if you can. Look left. Come center, push up, open up into beautiful star. Hold it. Good. Hold four, three, two and one release down shake it out all right so let's do that pose on the other side inhale that whole sequence spin the pinkies in sink down good hands in prayer and spiral bring the left elbow to the right outer thigh Come center, push up, open up into star, balancing on the right side. Nice. 
and release down. Pull the shoulder blades down and back. Now, I want you just to step forward with your left leg, step back with your right, all right? Now, the back leg is long and strong, so I want it to be super straight. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So I want this back leg to be super strong to the point to where you're lifting this kneecap and really engaging this quadricep. Now I want you to try to pull your hips forward so you're going to feel a beautiful stretch right here. This knee is bent and you're going to sweep up into a warrior one. Inhale and exhale. Open up that hip. Look towards the direction of that bent knee. So really using the breath, breath in and breath out. Keeping the shoulders right over the hips right now. Good. Now on that next exhale, open up into warrior two. So notice your shoulders are right over your hips. You're extending long and strong through those arms. Legs are still in the same position but you notice this isn't as tight anymore because we're not rotated here, we're here. Now we're gonna move the work into the core, staying strong in the legs, glide forward, bring the elbow down, reaching overhead, lengthening through the side of the body. I want you to try to make a nice, beautiful line all the way through the side of the body and really using the core, drawing that navel to spine float up into a reverse warrior, looking up. Using that breath, right? Generating heat. Float the elbow down, reach and lengthen through the side of the body again. Every single pass through, getting just a little deeper. And float up. And go again. Third time's the charm. Make this one your best one. Keep that back leg long and strong and sweep up. Good. And release. All right, come center. Let's do a couple of sunflowers. Release. A little rebound with the arms. Now we're simply gonna just change directions with the legs, okay? So bring the opposite leg forward and the opposite leg is long and strong and then that front leg is bent. So we're gonna open up this whole area here because you know when we sit a lot, this gets tight, gets super tight. So we have to do these exercises to lengthen it. Our body loves this length, it craves it. Inhale, exhale. So using that breath, gently rotating those hips so you can kind of lengthen this area here. Breath in and breath out. Feel the heat just build. Even though you're stationary and still, you're still working. On that next exhale, right into your warrior two. Shoulders right over hips. Long and strong, it's a warrior pose, so be a warrior. Glide forward, let that elbow rest on that thigh if you need, and reaching way overhead. So try to get that line so, so straight through the side of the body, using the core float up. Reach, 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 look up. Float back down. Reach and lengthen over the head. Good. Float up. And revisit that third time. Make this one your best one, right? Sweep up. Good. Release, come center. 
Let's do some sunflowers. Inhale, exhale. Breath in, breath out. A couple more. Awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna reposition the camera just a little bit because we're gonna go to the floor, okay? All right, so now you're on your mat. I want you, to, I'm gonna make sure this can get everything that we do here. So I want you to roll back and hug your knees into your chest. All right, just massage that low back. So here you have a neutral spine and I really love these exercises done in the neutral spine because there's just, just minimal compromise to that low back. So anytime you're doing an exercise, you know, I don't want you to feel pain in any of the skeletal structures, your joints or anything. I want you to feel muscular heat. When you feel that heat, you know you're challenging your body to get stronger. So now I want you just to bring your knees right over your hips. Bring your knees right over your hips. Bring your arms straight up over your shoulders. So we call this dead bug because, you know, you know, dead bugs look like this when they're upside down. And we're going to lengthen out our right arm and our left leg. And we're going to do this super, super slow. So this is the Pilates component right here. All right. And left arm, right leg extend out. Joseph Pilates developed this program many years ago to really length, as you lengthen the muscle, you strengthen the muscle. So he developed a whole program over lengthening and strengthening the muscle. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So there's so many similarities in all three of these disciplines. I would encourage you to seek out you know, different classes that you're not used to and challenge your body in different ways. Really help get those beautiful results that you want. A strong, stable core to support our spine. And this, the stronger our core is, the stronger our extremities will be too. So really keeping the core strong, core stability, core stability, core stability. I can't say it enough for a strong, healthy back. All right. All right, hug the knees in, massage that low back. Very, very gently. All right, so now bring your, um, I got something in my eye, I don't know what it is. All right, bring your hands right by your glutes here. I want you to press your feet down into the mat. Now, I want you to do a pelvic tilt. It's not even, you don't even have to lift up into bridge, but really concentrating on the glutes, on the tush, the derriere, the caboose, whatever you want to call it, because a strong glute, butt muscle, uh, the stronger it is, the stronger your low back is. So super important to keep these glutes so strong so just doing the pelvic tilt, squeezing the glutes, holding it, and releasing it. So now we're going to do a little bit of an um, intermediate version of this. We're going to add a little, I call it a little spice. We're going to spice it up a little bit. So I want you to give me that pelvic tilt. Lift your hips up just a little bit, and then alternate lifting a knee here. Alternate lifting a knee. And you're going to feel those muscles in that posterior chain of the body, the back of the body, heat up. All right, keeping it super strong here. Here's eight, seven, good. Keep going. Six, five, four, three. Make sure you smile too, it makes it better. <laughs> promise and one good bring it down hug it in if you have joint replacement um, hug under the knees if you don't have that flexion hug under the knees and just rock back and forth now we're gonna do one more exercise um, 
we're going to lengthen through before we go to breath work because I'm going to end with some great breath work. Don't leave me right now. If you're thinking about it, don't do it because I saved the best for last. I want you to pretend like you're walking on the ceiling here. Walk on the ceiling. Flex the feet. Flex the feet. Walk on that ceiling. Good. Now, I'm going to offer up a little, you know, advanced version of this. If you're going, this is just not, not getting it for me. It's too easy. Bring your hands right by your glutes. Tuck your chin to chest. Make the movement bigger. And then pretend like you're just bouncing balls under each hand, okay? Press. Shh, shh. Use the breath. <laughs> I'm going to channel Joseph Pilates. <sighs> Make it audible. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug it in. Massage that low back. Good, good. All right, now we're closing in on our half hour. I want you to roll up and we'll turn around and have a seat. Okay, so now we're going to do some deep belly breath work. And if you do nothing else or listen to nothing else I've told you for this half hour, this one thing will change your life. If you learn how to deeply belly breathe, okay? So I'm going to try to coach you through it. We've got just a few more minutes. Um, I want you to pretend like you have a balloon in the lower portion of your belly, below your navel, and you want to fill that balloon up. All right. So when you inhale, you're going to expand that lower portion of your belly. All right. So I want you to join me here on this and just follow me through. Okay. Take a breath in, inhale. Now as you exhale, draw your navel to spine and contract. <gasps> Tighten up all those muscles. Lift your pelvic floor. Give me a generous contraction. Good. Now inhale, do it again. Exhale, contract. <gasps> Again, breath in, breath out, breath in, and breath out. Contract, contract, contract. Now, I'm going to do another set of that breath work with you, and on this second set, I want you to not only lift your pelvic floor, but I want you to, like you're doing an imaginary bench press, contracting the chest muscles, and give your heart a hug. I want you to give your heart a hug with the muscles in your body, exhaling at the same time, okay? So here we go. Take a deep breath in. You're gonna expand the belly, expand the chest, Everything's expanding, and then you're going to contract, lift to your pelvic floor, draw your navel to spine, give your heart a big hug. Again, breath in, open, expand, 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 exhale, hug, hug. Hug, contract, contract, keep going. Breath in. Breath out. Again, breath in. And breath out. So, I want to encourage you and motivate you to keep practicing this deep belly breathing. It really helps 
calm you down if you're stressed out if you're anxious it increases the flow of your blood the oxygen going through your body it decreases inflammation it is so so vitally important that we learn how to breathe so that's the number one takeaway from class is to learn how to breathe I hope you guys have an absolutely terrific day it has been my honor and a pleasure working with you thank you for honoring me with your time namaste stay safe stay healthy stay fit bye guys Thank you so much for participating in our fitness programs today, but please remember before you start any exercise program to consult with your physician first. Please honor your body. Thank you.